Thank you for my shirt. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> kind of feels like a hug. Like I'm wearing a hug. Thank you. Okay. So the name of the song is, is He Is Worthy. And uh, when I wrote it, I wrote it in 1998. And I wasn't living for God at the time. And I wasn't living... I wasn't walking in purity. Um, I was living an immoral life, a hypocritical life, and I haven't even dated in four years. And I walk a sexually pure life by the grace of God. And, um, I like being able to come before him and worship and say, Jesus, I, I haven't given myself to a man, I haven't given myself to a woman. Here's my body and I give it to you as a living sacrifice, just like a virgin would offer herself up to her husband on their wedding night, you know. That's what I want to be as, as a bride of Christ. And so I, I want to present my body as a living sacrifice. And this song has that idea or that connotation. But um, it's, it's also, you know, we always want to hold things back from Jesus. So we give him our heart, but we don't want to give him our mind. Or maybe we serve him with our mind, but we haven't completely given him our heart. We compartmentalize our lives, you know. We act one way at the grocery store. We act one way at the movie theater, the skating rink, or on the dance floor, and we act a different way at church. We act one way at work, and Jesus wants all of us. He's worthy of 100%. He's worthy of everything we can give him. Every breath we breathe, every thought we think, to take that thought into captivity, all right? To bring it into subjection to the Lordship of Christ. He's worthy of us changing our lifestyle and changing the way we live our life so that it pleases him. He's, he's worthy of us giving things up for him. He's worthy of every sacrifice we make because nobody loves us more than he does. And so this is just kind of a, it's a fun little prayer song. It's called He Is Worthy. So let's sing it with me. It's kind of long. <laughs> I didn't realize how long it was until I, <clears throat> In this song, it talks about how the 24 elders throw their crowns at his feet. And that's in Revelation. The 24 elders bow down and toss their crowns at the feet of Jesus. And the four beasts of cherubim and the angels fall on their faces and worship him. And the Bible says that we mankind are created a little bit lower than the angels. So if the angels do that, who are we not to join in? If the angels worship him with everything they've got, their tears and their laughter, and their dancing, and by falling on their faces before him and worshiping him, then who are we not to give him the same? He's worthy.